Yes, people, and welcome back to AJ Cars, and welcome back to another video on the M140. But obviously, this isn't the usual setting because it's absolutely freezing outside, and I don't want to go out there just yet. We are currently at home, but if you did watch the last video, you would have seen we modified the M140 quite drastically straight off the bat. There was no messing about, and I didn't want to wait, so I threw everything on in one video. But there was a few things that were missing and a few things that I'm sure you probably noticed doesn't look the best without. So I bought another part. But first, if you didn't watch the last video, this is everything we have done already. Rear spats, diffuser was already there. Exhaust tips were already there as well. Side splitters, we have a front splitter on there. Black grills were already there. And we put these white bars behind here. We also stuck these bad boys on. Now walking around this car, if you were to tell me one thing that this car is drastically missing, what would it be? Because in my opinion, it's missing one major thing, a spoiler. So let's have a look. Now you can call me basic all you like because this is the usual one that people get but I don't care because they look the best and that is why everyone gets them so I'm putting this straight on. I'm not waiting to go to the body shop. I have some glue here. We're putting it straight on. Now they do provide you with two rolls of tape but what I would say is what I'm going to do anyway is I'm going to put tape on each corner of these bits so it holds. Oh, sorry, up here. This bit and this bit, then I'm gonna use glue for the rest of it because I don't trust tape. I feel like it just flexes and then it ends up just sagging and falling off eventually. So I'm gonna glue with the tape. Now the glue that I'm gonna be using is this stick slot, you know what? This is all I had in the house, but it seems to be able to do the trick because it says it even bonds in the wet, foolproof, extremely strong, weatherproof. So this is gonna be the best stuff to put on this. I would have thought anyway. So this is what we're gonna be using. Now, unfortunately I don't actually have some etch. Well, I would usually etch primer around here, but this is where I'm gonna be gluing. I'll probably end up putting a bit of tape along here and along the top just so it holds. And then I'll put the glue in the center and run a bead along here. And then the same on this side and I'll just replicate it. And then we should be able to just offer it up and it should hopefully sit in the right position. Now, if you've ever heard the saying, measure twice, cut once, the same sort of thing applies here. Just make sure you offer it up and see exactly where this needs to go before you put any bond on there, just to be safe and make sure everything lines up perfectly. Now we have this taped up. That will hold it on while the glue is setting. So we'll run a bead down here and then blodge a bit there. Same again, and then there, and then take all the tape off and bang straight on the car. Now we are all ready to go on. I'm excited, so let's get this on the car. So there you have it, she is on. That tape is holding her down pretty sturdy. I will get some tape right here and I'll just run some down along here just so it's sturdy so that bond goes off to its full potential, but that looks pretty good in my opinion. So that's all taped up now, ready to go. Once that is set, I'll take that tape off and it should be all finished. I hope that bottle wasn't lying and it is all weatherproof because it has started to absolutely cane it down. And <laughs> that bond is still going off. Oh God, 
Well, I hope they're not lying. But you'll have to find out in the next video whether that did stay on. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.